Yo, what is up there guys, I'm the Wiz, back at it again with another Kingdom Hearts 3 video with some pretty big news and information right here, right now, so let's get right to it. Alright, time for you all to put down your Oblivion and Oathkeeper Keyblade. I know that new update came out, but as per usual style, whenever there's a big thing when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, there is always that good old beautiful Tetsuya Nomura interview. Now, all this information will be provided from KH13 and KH Insider, so you can go ahead and check them out to read the full interview. We're not going to be talking about the full interview interview itself I mean I will say it is a really good read there's a lot of insightful stuff from the Mora but we're gonna be paying attention to two in particular things uh, that I think everyone kind of needs to go ahead and know about it so without further ado let's get started so number one Nomura was asked are there any plans for future updates or DLC Nomura replies with there are no plans for a hypothetical update as of now but if issues come up we will deal with it remind is to be the first and only DLC we are already working on the next title the title screen of remind serves as a piece of foundation for it okay so a couple things let's stop right over here and talk about this so number one okay it seems like we're all good we don't have to worry about any more dlc this is it essentially this is of course the kingdom hearts 3 final mix version you know we got a lot of good content in there other playable characters uh, greeting mode, blackout mode, so many cool things to go ahead and do with the game that's definitely uh, going to keep us playing for a while. But here's the really interesting thing. When he says the title screen of Remind serves the piece of foundation for it. So if you go ahead and check out the updated title screen, you know, it's the same thing essentially with Sora in the ocean. But of course, they added your girl Kyrie over there. Both of them in the ocean turned their back against you and they're eating the pow poo fruit. Yo, it looks absolutely stunning over here. But if this is the foundation for the next title, it's making me think uh, a couple things number one it could clearly just be another game focused on Sora we have to go ahead and get Sora out of the Yuzora world which is kind of something a lot of people want to see you know we want to go ahead and play in that Shibuya like world and try to get Sora you know back home to return to Kairi or the other thing and oh man I'm crossing my fingers and hoping this actually becomes a reality is that maybe we're gonna be getting a game focused on Kairi yes please Nomura bring about world peace over here <laughs> I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about Kyrie, but clearly seeing Kyrie in that Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC, your girl has been holding out on us. She came up with that meteor attack on Xehanort. Oh my god, yo, she is rocking it. But the one thing I will say about Kyrie is out, yes, even though she has the training, what she lacks is experience. You know, she needs to be like Sora. She needs to go out in the world and travel and learn abilities and this and that like you can be prepared for anything but if you don't have that real world experience it's not going to be as simple and clean as you think it is so you know crossing my fingers that maybe potentially we could end up getting a game focused on Kyrie or maybe just all the other characters in general trying to get to Sora because one thing that makes me think that is that if you go ahead and actually got the Japanese version of the theme you have Sora and Kyrie in the bottom but when you go up the menu it's only Sora by himself so who really knows which way it's going to go out but it's pretty exciting to see that they're already working on the next title and speaking of another title let's go ahead and check out this interview. Um, Nomura was asked, will you tell us about any plans for future Kingdom Hearts projects? Nomura states, we will need some time with regards to mainline Kingdom Hearts, but first up, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team will have a surprising announcement tomorrow. Aside from the Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts Union Cross team, we actually have two new teams in operation, and from them, one title will be coming surprisingly soon. Okay, so that's interesting. We've got the Kingdom Hearts three team we've got the union cross team and we got two new teams coming up Nomura did say in an interview a while ago that there would probably be at least one more kingdom hearts game before we actually got to the big one like you know kingdom hearts 4 so uh who really knows unless this is gonna be like you know a nintendo switch type of conversion thing hey i'm perfectly fine with that but it's exciting to see that one more title will be coming soon but let's go back real quick to that whole union cross update tomorrow so again a new announcement related to kingdom hearts union cross is set to be made tomorrow january 23rd at 10 a.m uh japanese time which converts to 5 p.m pacific standard time and if you were to convert that to eastern standard time it would be at 
at 8 p.m. And one cool thing that they actually added was this brand new artwork. Uh, half of it's blurred out, but clearly you can see, hold on, is that your boy Xehanort sitting on Sora's throne over here? Well, <laughs> get your man out of there. But you've got young Xehanort next to him, and you can kindly vaguely make out it looks like that could be Ventus on the right side of Xehanort but as far as the other characters goes uh, it's kind of hard to see maybe we're finally going to be getting a look at Luxord and Demix from the time of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross because those two characters we still have yet to see uh from that timeline over there like we know they originate from there but we haven't seen them so could this actually be like you know maybe a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross console version maybe that's the thing that's coming up really soon or maybe we're just finally reaching the end gap when it comes to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or maybe we're just gonna get a new version of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross like you know we had Unchained Key Union Cross and maybe it's gonna be something else over here who really knows but this has me so excited I love when Kingdom Hearts just comes in full swing and builds our hype up over here but I mean guys that is essentially it for this video so just to go ahead and do a quick recap we have two extra teams working on Kingdom Hearts titles one of them is going to be coming very very soon and of course tomorrow we are going to be getting a brand new kingdom hearts union cross update who knows maybe it could be a new world or something i have no idea but i'm excited regardless so guys if you like the video make sure to give it a big 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 thumbs up as it helps me and the channel immensely out so until next time guys i'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal we'll see you soon